the many faces of a Rottweiler, therapy dog, faithful star of a children's book, looks sassy, this looks just like you, athlete, our ultimate tough guy, which is it? This breed's not as tough as you think. Yeah, we're good old buddies, that we, sweetheart? The Rottweiler, next on Breed All About It. When you think of the Rottweiler, this is probably not the image that comes to mind. The Rottweiler's a working dog, originally bred to drive cattle and serve as a guardian and protector. Because of their size and imposing appearance, these dogs are sometimes feared. In fact, the Rottweiler's a loyal and friendly companion, and today it's the second most popular pet in the United States. Its easygoing nature and great intelligence make a Rottweiler a perfect candidate to work as a therapy dog, uh, like Mr. T here. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. T is a five-year-old Rottweiler who wears many hats, literally. But his most visible and most important role is that of a therapy dog. Mr. T's owner, Paula Singota, has been involved with Rottweilers for over 30 years. Eleven years ago, she founded the Our Best Friends Therapy Dog Program as a promise to a dear friend who succumbed to cancer. In the last three weeks of her life at Scripps Memorial Hospital, when she was feeling well enough, I'd whip her into the wheelchair and I would take her down to the lobby and bring her Rottweiler, Carly, in to visit her. And it made such a difference in her attitude for the next two or three days that before she died I promised her that I'd work on a therapy dog program I wanted to have a program where people volunteered they trained their dogs they would visit hospitals they would visit nursing homes but I wanted it to go a step or two further than just a visit I wanted these dogs to actually be part of the treatment team even though we have dogs that pass both of the tests and are wonderful obedience dogs and lovely personalities, they may never make a therapy dog because they don't care about the general public. Yes, we are. We're good old buddies, aren't we, sweetheart? We've been through a whole bunch together. Huh. This is one reason why Rottweilers make such good therapy dogs, because they genuinely love people. If a dog is beautifully trained, doesn't care about strangers, it will stress that dog to be a therapy dog, to be forced to visit with strangers. So we only take dogs that are genuinely gregarious and very outgoing. They need to walk up to a stranger and say, hi, would you pet me? Patients are always surprised as to which Mr. T will show up. Will it be Mr. T the cowboy? Will he be dressed for a luau? Paula found out long ago that not everybody loves a big dog, but everybody loves a clown. Not everyone in the hospital is an animal person. Not every animal person is a dog person. So we started our acute care animals, dogs, wearing costumes to kind of make them a little more amenable to all the patients. We've given them something else to talk about besides their illness. Look who came to visit me today. To Paul and Mr. T, there is no better way to spend an afternoon. It is the most wonderful, heartwarming use of your time and your energy that you can use. But it also hurts when you lose a patient. When you don't feel well, you have a headache, and you say, it's Thursday, and I have to bathe my dog, and I have to drive a half hour down the hill, and gee, my head hurts so bad, maybe I'll stay home. And then you think of the patient who's waiting for that dog to come visit. It may be the only person that visits them. It may be the only smile they get all week. You take two aspirin, bathe your dog, and go to the hospital. And after you're there for two minutes, you don't have a headache anymore. Oh, you're pretty. Yes, you are. 
Mr. T is not the only Rottweiler who's had an impact on the lives of others. So is his friend, Carl. Carl's owner, Alexandra Day, is the author responsible for the widely successful series of children's books, beginning with Good Dog Carl. The hero of the stories of Carl? A babysitting Rottweiler and mischievous co-conspirator. The first book was in 1985, and it uh, came from an idea. We, I saw an old 19th century German cartoon about a little dog that gets, a, gets left with a baby, and my husband said that could be expanded into a whole book. And we had two dogs at the time, an Irish Terrier and a, and a Rottweiler, and I, I liked the combination of the big guard dog with the little baby. And besides, I wanted the baby to ride, so I wanted the big dog. So that's how it started. Twelve books later, the Carl series is going strong. Carl embodies all that is good about the breed. Ready, bang! It's compassion, it's protective instinct, and it's inherent gentle nature. It's not too bad. Why Carl has, an, is, has had such a, an appeal is, is very complicated. I think it has to do with... Uh, our relation to dogs, our desire to have them be almost human, to uh, understand what's going on. And one of the things about the formula is, of course, the mother is uh, completely in the dark about what's going on, and they get away with all this mischief and then make it all right in the end. Paula, Alexandra, Mr. T, and Carl pay frequent visits to the Grossmont Hospital Cancer Center to meet some fans and spread some cheer. Through Carl, Alexandra first became familiar with the therapy dog program, and it's been an important part of both of their lives ever since. Her exposure to the use of Rottweilers in these programs reveals the powerful impact an animal can make on a human life. I had a child in a wheelchair who was uh, paralyzed, and so I had the dog over next to him, and his hand, and the hand, the child picked up his fingers and kind of petted, the, petted his nose. And I said something about it to the nurse, and she said, oh, he can't do that. That hen's paralyzed. I don't know. That pen went up and patted that dog's nose. So who knows? The same gentle nature that makes the Rottweiler a great therapy dog also makes them great family pets. Jesse likes to play ball with me and swim with me. Jess is one of my best friends, and I love her very much. The Brill family of Farmingville, New York, truly believe that their Rottweiler, Sasha, is a perfect example of the breed's loving nature. We've always heard good stories about Rottweilers, that, you know, they're very caring and loving dogs, basically. And um, my father likes big dogs, so, like, basically he wanted something that was going to be, like, protective and, like, you know, very loving and everything. She's a great family pet, and... and and we, we all love her. She's, I mean, we think about her all the time. She's just a total member of the family. Before Sasha, the Brills had an Akita. Stuart prefers the family pet to play the traditional role of a watchdog. We decided we wanted to have a big dog that would feel secure around the house, but yet would be nice with kids and the family. And we decided on a Rottweiler. We read all about Ruddies. And we went ahead and uh, got this beautiful six-month-old puppy. If we have a large property and we wanted to have a dog that we could leave outside as well as inside, and she would peruse the property and kind of keep strangers away that wouldn't belong here. And uh, we went ahead and got a, a Rottweiler. We've been pleased ever since. Shortly after bringing home Sasha, Stewart realized that the family's new Rottweiler met all their expectations as a good watchdog and a great family pet. I would say she's a wonderful dog. She's part of the family, and we are very, very happy to have her. She grew up with me since I was little. Look, Shashi, this looks just like you. She's very good with her. She knows not to be rough with her, even though she knows she can overpower her at any moment. So it's like, you know, really good. But the ever-versatile Rottweiler is more than just hugs and kisses. It's a working dog that loves an athletic challenge. As with all dogs, proper obedience training is essential. But training can be fun, too. Especially if the ultimate goal is to get a Rottweiler involved in any of their many athletic activities. 
One such activity is an obstacle course event for dogs.